Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Heather and this is Create Your Own Cozy. On this week's video, I am going to fix some projects that didn't turn out the way I wanted them to be. This last weekend I went to the Pinners Conference and if you have one in your area, I am in the Atlanta area, and I was there from open to close both Friday and Saturday and took every class that I could take. Um, just overloaded in creativity. I needed to sleep extra on Sunday just to kind of recover from it. But it's just a great way to figure out if painting or macrame, which is not my thing by the way, but now I know. Um, just to try different types of things. Um, one of the things that was included, I did unlimited classes, and um, you can pick like a two class thing too. Um, I took this class on how to do, to, they're advertising for the paint, and how to do a decoupage with paper. It was free, so all of these supplies, everything was free, it was sponsored. However, I do not like the way it turned out. Um, a big square in the middle of a circle. They didn't have any scissors for us. Um, didn't even get a chance or opportunity to paint the handles, and I don't know if I'd want to anyway. So I'm going to call this a Pinterest fail in my book, and I want to show you how to take this up a notch if you have one of these in your house, if you find one of these at the thrift store how to take it up a notch. What I'm going to do, I did talk to the presenter at her booth and told her I'm not a big fan and she said, I said, can I buy another piece? She said, oh, grab one. So I got this, this is what I originally used, decoupage paper. Um, it is very vibrant. Technically, you could use just really cool tissue paper too. Keep that in mind. Um, I'm going to be using Mod Podge, so what I'm going to sand this down with an orbital sander, and it's just paper under here with like a glue type finish, so it'll sand right off. I'm going to take off these handles, I'm going to paint this whole thing white, and distress it. We'll see, I might change my mind, but what else? Um, this guy, instead of doing a square again, I am going to attempt to do some cutting, some very meticulous cutting. It doesn't have to be perfect. I just don't want it to be a big blob. I'd rather have some shape to it. Um, and maybe put some up here, some down here. We'll see how I decide to move forward with that once I do it. I went to Hobby Lobby yesterday and found these. They're $7.99 and they were half off, so I got two for $7.99. And I figured having these here instead would totally bring it up another notch. In addition, so right now I have $7.99 plus tax into it, plus supplies. I might be putting some legs on here. I might not. I'm going to wait to the very end to decide on that to see whether I think this should be just able to sit on an ottoman or whether I want it to be like a riser type look. This is the project I'm going to be working on today. So thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoy.
The original gold handles were smaller than where these holes are, and since I'd already gotten to this process, I could have filled in the holes and re-drilled them no matter where I wanted them to be, but since I was already to this process before I figured this out, I went back to Hobby Lobby and found this particular handle that I love. My challenge is the screws are too long. Um, to be able to sit flat. So I either need to go buy a flat screw at the right length or I can hot glue an E6000 this in. Um, the next thing I decided to try is to take the original handles and do oh, I shouldn't have touched that yet, it's still wet, some paint technique on them. So I put like the moss color and then a color over top of it. And I don't hate that, but I love this. So also considering I'm probably just gonna do a spray clear coat on the top of this since I don't know what kind of stuff will be on this. But I was considering distressing the edges, but decided not to, especially if this is the look I go for. Mm -hmm. 